It's a Phoenix BIOS A46 version 1.03. What's the version? Uh, 1.03. Uh, I'm Rich DeMillo. I'm a professor of computer science at Georgia Tech. Let's head up towards the uh, the scanners. Simple case of engineering. It looks like he has a USB connection into the scanner. The, the serial console in the back gives us a root shell. That means you have control of the, of the machine once you have full control you... of that, and then we can change the results of what it's scanning. This is the way that you get data in and out of the, um, in and out of the operating system that runs on this machine. My computer is connected to the machine. This is a serial cable, and it's connected to the back of the machine. We take off the back of the machine, and there's a serial port, and that gives us full root access with no password. There's no security system. System on this one. Nope. There's no password on it. With this kind of access, you could rewrite the code that's running on there and get it to count votes in whatever way you want it. You would do this in advance of election night and then wait for the results to come in. You could control the election results. Either way, as long as I had physical access to either plug something in or take off the back and plug something in there. But you just need that access briefly. Once, yes. Very briefly. About how long? If you had this all prepped and ready to go, a minute. This is easily possible for uh, somebody to get into these machines because they are unsecured for such long periods of time. I'm Marilyn Marks, the Executive Director of Coalition for Good Governance. I have done research on and personally watched 150 elections at least. In the context of our lawsuit against Georgia to get rid of the DRE machines, two of our experts and I went to the closing of the polls in one of the recent elections. At the end of the closing of the polls, the poll workers left us there with about six voting machines by ourselves. I was with two guys who could have gotten into those machines in a matter of seconds and put in malware. My name is Joseph Canary and I am the CEO and chief scientist of Free and Fair. The machine we're in front of is a central count scanner. It's the ESNS Model 650. It's, uh, to our knowledge, the most widely deployed central count scanner in America. Anytime you do early voting or provisional voting or anytime you're in a state where they do central tabulation of all the ballots, so they bring them to one place, this is the kind of high-speed scanner they would use to count ballots. Historically, these machines were examined and they determined there was a number of serious problems with them by virtue of messing with the zip disk. Just turn it on for three minutes and stick a disk in, wait one minute and then walk away. You're able to change the behavior of the machine any way you want, including changing the results of an election. This is an ancient operating system. It's never seen any security patches ever since. It's probably easier to do all of this by just plugging in. So this disk. probably came from a server or something. Yeah. I, have, I have no idea where, where they're getting their program. We downloaded a image of the operating system the software that runs on this machine from a Russian server. <laughs> All of the security breaches throughout history, the famous ones, have to do with misusing the procedures that people have carefully set up. So these are exactly the environments that the election officials should be studying. They shouldn't be criticizing them. How many people might have access to stick in a zip disk like that? It would be everyone from elections officials to people who run the storage facilities, volunteers in the election, security guards, you name it. There's going to be tens of thousands of people who have access to the machine in that fashion. And our adversaries definitely have this machine in Russia, period. There are so many possible hacks and so many possible vectors for entry. 
it's hard to believe that someone's not taking advantage of them. We're bored now and trying to find more fun <laughs> things to do.